Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome back again to ESO One Katowice. We are here in Cologne, not in Poland, but you can see from these pictures, a very cold place right now. Night has fallen there as well as here as we get ready to finish off our day with one final best of two in Group B. And it's going to be Fnatic versus Alliance in what should be a pretty action-packed game. Uh, man, a lot of cold shots there. Looks like Poland is cold right now. Yeah. It's often cold. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> I mean, in uh, most of Europe, it's not that cold right now. Right. So, I mean, in Croatia, it's 15 degrees. In Germany, it's 10 degrees. So. Okay. That's really cold in Fahrenheit. Yeah. Well, 10 by Australian standards is pretty cold. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll tell you that much. Um, but we, we will talk a little bit about this game as we get ready to, to get underway here. Mm -hmm. Vodafone uh, pregame. It's... Alliance that did just come off the back of a 2-0, uh, NIP able to take them down in both of those games. Uh, not necessarily what you want to have as far as confidence building, starting off the day with a 2-0 for them, um, but certainly they're a team that, that can show up and play. And I, I think that to me, Fnatic feels like a team that's even stronger coming into this game. I don't know how you guys feel about that. I, I'd be inclined to agree. I feel like Fnatic are probably the likely the number one team in this group. Uh, you know, Strength between the groups is a little bit different, but it does seem like Fnatic are just, they're playing fantastically. All of their players are looking pretty hot. Uh, that second game, you know, I, I almost think that the biggest problem that they might have is just outdrafting themselves. Mm. The, it really felt like it was 4v5 featuring Bounty Hunter. Uh, yeah, Bounty like. Hunter was just doing some <laughs> fancy, fancy ass stuff. Uh. Yeah. Not, not, not that effective, though. I, yeah. I, I still no. don't feel the hero is uh, is good. Uh, you can Maybe. win games with it, but if you compare it to what other heroes of, uh, let's say, other offlaners bring to the table, it's right. it's just way too good. For anybody that missed it, it was uh, Bounty Hunter offlane played by Ice Ice Ice, and, and that's what we're talking about, that they kind of were yeah. completely stomping game number one. It was one of the worst drafts we've ever seen uh, coming out from Aster in the game number one. I think that Fnatic were just empowered by that one and felt like, all right, we can do whatever we want, and they ran Bounty Hunter uh, as the fourth pick and it looked okay in the early game and then like you guys were saying it kind of fell off afterwards but uh still i think that these are two teams that um probably to me can can kind of fanatic it feels like they can build up momentum really quickly and just sort of yeah. snowball from there off the lane you say even yeah they're and they're really strong in their lanes and they tend to draft for fairly strong lanes as well we've been seeing the shadow shaman pick up a whole lot that might be something that gets banned out a little bit by Alliance depends on how much of an opportunity they're going to have to go back and have a quick look at those that previous series. Um, I don't really know what else. I feel like Fnatic still have you know quite a lot of heroes up there. Uh, and their hero pool is really, really wide, especially Isis Ice pool. Mm -hmm. Team Master, though, on, on other hand, didn't look that good. Their no. picks, uh, their play overall, decision making. Uh, it's not on point. Alliance, uh, they lost uh, two, two first games. I think this is the matchup that could be mm -hmm. more favored for them uh, because of the different styles that, uh, let's say, NIP is playing and the uh, Fnatic. I think the biggest thing, too, is that NIP probably have a better read on what Alliance is going to do than Fnatic would because they play so many games in a regionally. So that's a thing where if like you're the team that's a little bit better, you're naturally going to sort of like have that extra edge over them than you would otherwise. Whereas so maybe um, you know Fnatic could get caught out. There was some funky strats coming out from Alliance in the first series that they played. They ran like a bristleback storm spirit uh, in game number one, which didn't win, but you know, cool. It, it was something that maybe could have worked if you uh, catch somebody off guard with it. And then game number two, they did the the fun shenanigans with the Luna and then a bunch of strength heroes, um, which you know, again, didn't look amazing for them. But uh, maybe that's again a product of playing against NIP. I feel like Alliance uh, got worse over the time they they reached their peak, ah. and then suddenly everything is just going downstairs for them. Uh, I want to see Alliance. Um, with the form or after the TI. Like, this is the alliance that I want to see, and I know they can play better than what uh, they're doing right now. Yeah, I think that it was also a, a product, and this is something that we kind of talked about and touched on earlier, of like everybody catching up to them. Like Alliance kind of had a bit of a head start over everybody yeah. else. because yeah. they, they had the team synergy bonus yeah. from like staying together for as long as they had. 
but it does feel like every, yeah, everybody's kind of catching up to them in, on that department, and they're not really ahead of the meta or anything like that. Uh, and they're in a, I mean, they're in a very difficult region, of course. Uh, EU's super stacked. Strongest so. region ever. Yeah, but it, it, if you're going to be a team that's going to be super competitive, then that's the kind of the best place to be. It's difficult to qualify to events, but if you're playing against the best teams in the world on the regular... Is that the reason why some teams wanted to go to SA? Oh, yeah, clearly. To go and play against yeah. the... Yeah, to become to the be best. To be the best region, yeah, to, right. to become the best, you have to beat the best, <laughs> Lacoste. And clearly, I mean, SA is... Uh, I think they're, they're top of this group at the moment, or at least tied top. Uh, Chaos did... 2-0 against complexity, so... Ooh. As expected. <laughs> but that's Southeast... Eight. Oh, no, no, I'm sorry. Mixing that up. The South, Southeast uh, America. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Southeast America. Well, I meant complexity, because, you know, the, the players oh, that they've right. got and everything. That's true. Yeah, that's true. That's the partisan Wait, answer oh, that I okay. give. okay, so you, you're arguing that exactly. complexity isn't NA Dota. <laughs> exactly. So truly, <laughs> NA Dota has not lost, because they can't lose if they're not actually here. <laughs> that is what I'm saying. My man. <laughs> All right. Are uh, forward gaming any any Dota? Let's not talk about not that. Not if they lose. <laughs> we'll move on. Yes, all right, exactly. all right. You're only NA if you win. There you go. <laughs> NIP go. will be NA if they if they win. That'll be the... That's what we got to say, man. Yeah. God, it's actually just the dumbest thing ever, the, like, inter-regional back and forth. Oh, but, yeah? But Lacoste can, can keep saying it if he wants to. You know. What, the, the NA versus EU? Yeah. And it's even funnier when China is on top. And then <laughs> NA and EU are like slapping each other, and China is just <laughs> the number one region. That's always, uh, that's always fun. When was that? That was, that was a while that's ago, was It's been a little bit. Yeah. The, the, you know, Chinese Dota has been... Uh, the, the giants of Chinese Dota have been slumbering for a little bit. Though, I mean, look, LGD, last TI... Yeah. Well, they look pretty, pretty darn good. Pretty good team. No, it's true. They definitely did. Um, they were very, very solid. And I think that, uh, you know, it's just, it's tough. It, it, it's, I think it's also saying something that, like, you know, North America has Canada and USA. Europe has, like, all the different countries in there. Southeast Asia has everywhere. Oh, yeah. China, it's just... It's just China. Oh, like, okay. I mean, you know just what I mean? China <laughs> is uh, way bigger than... That's <laughs> true. I, I really thought there... Until you said, like, China is just China, I really thought you were just being an NA apologist oh, some no. more. And like, no, oh, no. we only have two countries no. in our in our region. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. That's what I'm saying. I was like, what are you getting you at here? You guys get it. You what get are you it. getting at here? Get like it. Europe, yeah, we have uh, 20, 20 countries. Uh, they all so hate it's not each, fair. They all hate each other. <laughs> really, it's, it's not it's fair. It's just like South... Like in a South East Asia, they have all these countries. Everyone hates each other. Everyone in pubs is uh, at, e at each other's throats. All right, so different approach from Alliance. This is the opening that I love to see from them. Chen Tusk. And look, they just ban out Shadow Shaman and Jug. They're like, we don't want to play against that. Uh, I, I feel like uh, Jug ban is justified. Shadow Shaman as well played extremely well in both of the games. Uh, DJ played, played well. And they, they banned out Pango stra straight away. And uh, in some of the games, Elder Titan is ignored. My boy Fogged would be really mad about it, mm. considering the fact that he thinks it's the best hero in the game. I mean, it's st I still think... It's Who are we to disagree with Fogged? Uh, yeah. I mean, I could be budget Fogged at, at my best, yeah. so I can't really argue with it. But... Uh so I, I like the idea from Alliance, just doing something different, like forcing Fnatic to show a different strategy. If you're just going to open the same thing game after game, I think it's worth it to just say, okay, look, you got you got to show us some different Dota, take you out of your comfort zone uh, a little bit. So I, I like these bands, Fnatic. This is like a totally different look with the ET and the the tiny, and Alliance with a strat that we've seen. I think we've seen OG run this a little bit. I think it even happened at, um, it happened at Convictus, which is a tournament that I guarantee nobody watched, <laughs> but uh, outside of those of us that, that were there and, you know, the Australians uh, in the community, but... What do you mean OG was there? Yes. So That's people, right. people OG, watched. OG were there, people watched. Uh, they were running this strat a little bit as well, the Chen Tusk running around with tag team and uh, the... Divine Favor. Divine Favor. That's the one, Gabe. Thanks. I, I love the second banning stage, they're focusing uh, MP's hero pool mm -hmm. instead of Ice's Ice. Mm -hmm. 
Weaver received some of the buffs in the previous version, and uh, it's his comfort hero. And this is the draft that I want to see from Alliance. Oh, like, wow. if someone right. asked me who drafted this, I would say Alliance. You know, I, I will say that it does worry me a little bit. Like, I, I agree with you what you're saying about, like, getting rid of the Shadow Shaman and the Jug, yeah. um, because it's just what they're comfortable with. Make them play something else. But I also kind of wonder if maybe you're giving them like too much respect that you're banning just all the heroes that they played before and are like, because to me it kind of says like, okay, we don't believe that the way that we play Dota is going to be able to beat the way that they play Dota. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. it, like, is that is that at all a concern for you guys? I, I don't think that's the problem because um, these picks are kind of comfort picks for MP right. and mm. he, he's been struggling with some other heroes and uh, let's say a Weaver in this kind of a lineup is extremely good against what Alliance has. They have no lockdown for Weaver so it's a free Weaver game and if they had a chance to pick it they definitely would. Okay. Yeah. I think the other thing is that if you are Fnatic don't have a ton of games on the patch and if you <sighs> don't feel like you have a good handle on what they really want and like what their their deeper strategies kind of are and their overall views, then I think the best thing that you have to go off is what they were literally just drafting two seconds ago in the previous series. Yeah. And banning that makes the most sense to me. Like, Fnatic clearly have a lot of confidence in that draft, and they probably think that that's one of their strongest openings, and that's why they go for it. And I think it, it makes 100% sense for Alliance that if you don't have any other insider information, you haven't played Fnatic in scrims, or anything like that, you bet it's better to just ban things that you know that they play instead of guessing, like, oh, they might try for this other strategy or, or mm -hmm. something like that. So they take the Storm Spirit now. Um, mm -hmm. Kind of an interesting one, right? I think that uh, this is something that they ran earlier and it looked like it didn't work in the game against NIP, but that was also paired together with a Bristleback. Um, it, the thing that I like about it, though, is I, f I was a little bit worried that Fnatic might take something like a Tinker with the last pick, and that kind of shuts that down because it's not a great way for Alliance to, to find a Tinker, and obviously it looks like they want to go for a push lineup uh, with Lycan and Chen. Is the, wait, is the Storm Chen strat dead? Is that... That can't happen now. Oh, actually, well, you know, you can, it can. You can, you, can use recall. The, you can use the new recall, yeah. Yeah, that could work. But then Chen just has to stand in the fountain. But he had to stand in the fountain before anyway, so... <laughs> <laughs> it was... Nothing has changed. Nothing has really changed on that front. <laughs> but the easy way to gang with Chen right now is just you recall your mid laner, he pushes the wave, Storm does that well, as my boy Blitz loves to say, uh, <laughs> shove the waves and... Uh, it's his favorite hero, and then he just goes back to the jungle where he tends to farm, chant deepism, him, and that's a guaranteed gank. So, Ooh. good pickup. Static oh damage, again, on Alliance, and they have nothing to deal with Timbersaw. Uh, I expect, oof, that's if really they want to... I'm not sh even sure that they could get a hero like an OD in their lineup anyway. It, yeah, it's not going to be easy to make the adjustments to and play have against a this timber. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I don't actually know what they do here. Alliance are looking for their off laner, right? Yes. Um, I don't know exactly what that's going to be. Man, that timber pick is so good right here. They can kite it around a it, little bit, but... I, I will say that I think Tag Team actually is pretty good against Timbersaw. Like, yeah. it's it's something that, at least in the early levels, it gives you an option to shut him down. Uh, and you're going to need to go for uh, Timber Chain pretty early on, and that's not necessarily something that you want to have to go for against two melee strength heroes. Yeah. It's physical damage, so it's not really effective against all the armor that he has. But early on, you're not going to have all that armor in the laning stage. And if you get shut down early... You can kill him, but I just I don't think they're going to completely shut the timber saw out of this game. The thing for Fnatic right now is that they have some uh, pretty glaring holes that they need to patch in their lineup. They need a... Oh, oh. God! All right, talking uh, about signature lineups. Dude. Ice, 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 timber saw, oh. Abed on Meepo. I think that that actually was just an oversight by Alliance. Like, that's so good against all of them. 
Like Storm yeah. gets wrecked. Yeah, Storm Storm cannot play against Meepo. It's it's actually disgusting. And it's it's really good against Lycan, too. A hero that relies on his yeah. mobility so much, just sits in nets, can't do anything. I mean, we didn't mention it, we forgot about it. Abed nah. Tinker or Abed Meepo is just it's a legend for a reason and I don't know what the hell you do at this point yeah. for Alliance. This co this completely pulls like the whole draft together. Because here's the thing. They had so many holes in their lineup that they needed to fill. They, they didn't have any objective takers, be it Roshan or Towers. They didn't really have like a whole lot of sustained damage. And Meepo is just that 1v5 hero that they, I think they needed to... Uh, solve all their problems. Uh, Alliance doesn't have an answer for this. They're going to take all the time because they can't really counter both Meepo and Timbersaw with one pick. So they're just looking for a <clears throat> solution. Some magic bullet. I, is, I, can't is, is, I just is, can't find it. Is Monkey King a thing against hmm. both of them? Like, Monkey King's pretty good against Meepo. I don't think it's enough damage, like, quickly enough. Because you don't have that extra mm. bit of control, right? Like... What, how are you going to keep the Meepos in, like, a, a Wukong's command, or... Yeah. You need, like, burst damage. Uh, Lena, maybe? Uh, and then swap it out, like, uh, safely in Storm? I mean, yeah, Lena's, Lena's okay, but the Storm Spirit pick is... all and of Tiny a owns it, too. The, the Storm Spirit is starting to look really lost. They, they could grab a hero like Pugna, maybe try to go for all-in with the push once they group up. There's so much deep push it's on the just, fanatic side. Uh, it's, it's, Chakram, it Echo feels Stomp. that no matter what Alliance picks right now, it's definitely a, a, a one, a one draft from Fnatic. Going down to zero time, Bloodseeker. Bloodseeker. I mean, that's really good against Timber. It has a lot of damage against Meepo, but I don't know if it's enough. Mm. Bloodseeker, Bloodsuka. Uh, Rupture doesn't kill you anymore, right? No, it's non lethal. No. Yeah, and I, I think that also he's going to need to go for like a BKB because Tiny just blows him up otherwise. And I don't know if that comes online fast enough. I think the two supports need to camp the Meepo into Oblivion. I think that's the only way for Alliance. Like, Insania and Taiga just have to buy smoke after smoke after smoke, and they have to just run at this Meepo. they got to kill him like twice in lane, and then Abed's going to retreat to the jungle, and they got to go and kill him like two or three more times in the jungle if they have any hope of uh, winning this game. So it's going to be Bloodseeker off lane. Boxy's the one playing it. Mm. Oh. Hmm. It's not Ice Ice Ice. Timbered is a MP on the timber, so Ice 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 is going to be playing the Tiny. Okay. I mean, this is the thing, right, is that I'm, I'm wondering, like, how you even lane this for Alliance right now because you you did need to get another hero that dealt damage, and they're putting Quickva on the like and Boxy Bloodseeker. Like you need to swap things around and make it weird, just because the draft becomes that strange and hard to deal with. Mm. So none of the heroes are going to go, I think, where they really wanted them to go from the first place. Um, but, it's tough, man. Bloodseeker, yeah. he can snowball to one extent if they can uh, keep them low enough, and I expect Fnatic to buy some extra region. Uh, mm -hmm. Timbersaw lo loves to be. Low HP, first couple of levels, but once he gets that reactive armor to level three, he's going to be full HP, and it's going to be a real trouble for them. They don't have a real answer for this timber. God. Yeah. That's, uh, game, or the Meepo. <laughs> yeah, really. or the Meepo. I mean, Bloodseeker is going to counter one of those, if you think about it. It's, it's not mm. that uh, bad of a pick, uh, even though it's really uncommon. Not the... The strongest hero in this patch I received mean, uh, a little bit of buff. Let me just check what it was. I think it was move speed, if I'm not mistaken. The other thing Blood. that's tough about Bloodseeker now is that it's not even as good of a traditional counter to Meepo because you don't get attack damage anymore. You get attack speed for the Bloodseeker. Yep. So, like, I, I feel like that's worse against Meepo since he tends to have high armor anyways. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, we'll just we'll have to see what happens. I have my doubts about this alliance lineup. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we're not kicking anybody off the cast this time. We're nah. doing the full-on try. Why not? Because you know we're hanging out here. We're having a good time. 
We're tired, and this way, each of us only <laughs> has to talk for 33% of the time instead of 50%. All right, huge buff. Bloodseeker base movement speed increased by five in Ooh. previous batch. Sick, bro. Along with almost every other melee hero, right? That was... Didn't Meepo get that, too? Didn't he get a, a, a movement speed Probably. increase? Probably. I think so. We, we don't talk about Meepo buffs. That's fair. That's, that's banned. Well, so one way Alliance can win this game. Okay. They use the Chen while he's sitting at the fountain, Storm zips in, and uh, you give him Blood Rage. Okay. That's a lot of damage. That is a lot of damage. Oh, DJ just gonna force back Taiga on his tusk. And... This game is still looking quite hard. Um, I want to see how these lanes work out. And it does look like Jabs is already starting to head towards mid lane. So maybe just anticipating that they might try and dual lane the Meepo. Uh, we'll see if he decides to stay here or not. Side lane Storm Spirit. Now that is a... Uh... Yeah, that's what I meant. Is like you have to change up the... The, the, yeah. the way you're going to lane This is it. equivalent to jungle storm spirit in your <laughs> pubs. Like, you don't see this very often, uh, but they needed to swap things around, as you mentioned, Gabe. Unfortunately, he's playing against the Tiny, um, who's going to be able to deny a lot of this, I would imagine. Although, maybe not with a little bit of help they have Tagia. Getting down very low is DJ throwing out those punches, and MP almost finding the kill, and he's one more punch, but it's not going to happen. Boxy blocked him, though. I feel like MP man down a bit. I don't know if you realized that DJ had the spirit again. Oh. I really like what Fnatic did at bottom. Uh, yeah, they, I mean, as, as a professional player, you can't really keep the track of all these spells if they're on cooldown or not, especially level one. Is that a... Uh, are you beaming? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It's tough. It's, you know, <laughs> clicking away from your hero is, uh, is difficult. But uh, I really like Fnatic did bot level one. They let Ice 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 get the whole wave because it wasn't really worth it for Lich to come in. Better to have Ice 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 at level two and Lich at level one as opposed to both of them having 50% progress towards level two. Uh, so good little play. Got them some extra pressure on the Alliance side, forced out a little bit more regen. And Meepo seems to be doing just great. 13 and three so far. And they've got the little uh, envenomed weapon creep, the Vool Assassin, giving you extra two damage oh. per second. <laughs> I'm just wow. keeping the courier away. And <laughs> he, was, he was threatening to run past the tower and slap that courier. Jeez. Look at build. Look at the build on Meepo. Four slippers and the uh, yeah. band of Velvet skin. I mean, if you're not going to buy... People were buying... Uh, like four or five wraith bands on Meepo before the item even got buffed, right? So it makes sense. This is a pretty big farming build. I guess he can he can abuse that uh, that medium camp as well. Uh oh, Mickey in some trouble, and will draw first blood. Jabs gets it. They throw out the shards now, trying to turn on to Ice Ice Ice, who obviously is low armor, but toss. stick charge toss back under the tower and able to find himself a second kill there. They do it. And now the Tusk is away, so not a whole lot that they can do elsewhere on the map. They know exactly where he is. Abed can play even more aggressively. Oh, they're going to toss back under the tower again in Insania. I mean, it's, it's just really deadly uh, going up against the Tiny in these side lanes here. They will find the shard block off Jabs. What's up going down there, but now the stomp onto three. This is going to be a lot of bonus damage, and again, tossing back Mickey. Another punch comes out, and they find that kill. Insania might be in trouble, too. DJ moves very quickly here. Needs one more hit from the stapler, and that is another couple kills down bottom. Try lane with the Storm Spirit is not very effective. This hero needs levels, but the good thing is Bloodseeker is going to get... Uh, a lot of damage with the thirst. Oh, attack speed now. Oh, it's sorry, it's attack speed plus. Um, it's still move speed. Move so. speed, move yeah, speed but uh, speed. It's, it's not that great actually. He, I, I don't think uh, he can threaten Timbersaw because look, look at him, twelve reactive armor stacks. 
Yeah, it, it means that he's he's not great in lane, even if people are low. Oh, okay, they've brought the tusk over here. They want this meepo kill. He does have level three though, but uh, did not put a point in the snowball there, and so they just walk away. Yeah. You can't I, I miss know. a spell if if you don't skill it right. Mm. How do you miss Snowball? That's a good I mean, you point can also. <laughs> what, what do you Look mean? You guy. can miss click it. Ah. Neutral creep. Ah, yes. Abed's just farming ancients at four minutes. Yep. On Meepo. Ransack, boys. Oh, God. Well, it, you know, it's not all bad. This Lycan is having a good time. Uh, Storm oh. Spirit is not having an absolutely abysmal time. Look at this huge stack for Meepo already. Oh. That shard block off was not what he wanted, I don't think. And then the snowball over to the creeps. That's how you miss a snowball. Okay. Gotcha. Intentionally. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fair enough. Koikwa is level six, almost has Helm of the Dominator finished, so he's going to be pressuring the lanes. But look at Meepo. He's actually not low HP because of the new Ransack. Yeah, it's not a... Uh not as much of a problem for Abed because obviously he's not being revealed because he's not low HP, but then also he's not giving the bonus damage to Bloodseeker because uh, it doesn't give bonus damage anymore. It's <laughs> attack speed. It's like... It's so none bad. Of, <laughs> none of the things that normally were good about this hero against Meepo are no longer good. Like, is, is the new Bloodseeker even good against Meepo? I, I don't know if it is. They kill off jabs. It might be okay. What, what if you just... <laughs> What if you just buy Basher first? Okay. <laughs> and then you just use Maelstrom all your... Maelstrom and just Maelstrom and a along. Basher and just all the procs. I guess, yeah. I think it still kind of works. The The silence is annoying for the Meepo, but I've also, I'm also picturing Bloodseeker just getting beat to death by Meepo. So yeah. we'll, we'll see what happens. This is... Man, this hero is so bad. What? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, it almost makes me wonder if maybe they forgot. I, you know, you know, you hate to say that. I don't think so, but I don't know. I think a lot of people forgot what no. what this spell does because well, it got changed and no one is picking the hero. Right. Like you can't see this hero in high level pubs. You you don't see him in scrims, you don't see him in official matches. Well, nonetheless 4 to 3, it, uh, Fnatic is only up by a little bit less than 1000 gold here. And the laning stage has looked pretty okay. I think that that danger that everybody is worrying about is the impending sense of doom of what happens when Meepo just has a free early game. I mean, Meepo is just jungling at the moment, which yeah. is uh, very concerning if you're Alliance. Okay, you get, you get some life problems. <laughs> Every time <Log>. someone, ro <laughs> someone writes uh, lag in all chat, DJ goes <laughs> log, log and <laughs> I bet instantly call it. <laughs> So, Rupture mm -hmm. cannot be dispelled non-lethal. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. I'm not sure why it's non-lethal. They twisted the numbers, right? They, they buffed... I think they buffed the damage, yeah. Right. It's, uh, it's, it's more damage, but you can also just keep running. You need Zeus to finish them off. There you go. Yeah. That's the dream. But they nerfed that synergy. The Blood Rage doesn't apply past the... But you're right. If they're on one HP, it doesn't matter. Oh, Timbersaw TPing in, wants this deny. Fnatic don't get it. The wolves and the catapults somehow do, even though there were three Fnatic heroes there. Uh-oh. Ice, ice, ice. Yellow. Runs up to the north. And... Have a toss, has somebody. A oh, gotta be careful, buddy. They are gonna get the Blood Rage onto Ice. ice, ice. That is actually a little bit deadly. And Mickey looks like he is gonna be able to survive through this. So, yeah, they just get the kill. It, it was a little bit touch and go there for a second, but yeah. seems okay. All right, and DJ. Ulti out from Koikva. See if they can run him down, and Alliance pulling together some kills here. Not looking too bad. Just you wait, though. <laughs> Just you wait. Meepo's, Meepo's hitting him some creeps. Yeah. Uh, 
The new Meepo does have some... I mean, these guys, this guy's gotten nerfed a bit. Uh, you don't have as many Meepos as quickly. You have, you have to stay with like two or three Meepos for quite a long time. The Ghetto Blink Dagger. Toss. Mickey immediately caught in the net, and that's going to be a kill. Ghetto Blink Dagger. Tiny <laughs> Airlines, baby. Man, the, be <laughs> the best uh, nickname I saw, Mid or Tiny Airways. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that's great. You gotta love it. It's a one-way ticket. Mm -hmm. No coming back. They're underneath the ward right here. I say, Sice. What are the what are the ghetto things that are in Dota? I think a um, a smoke plus a dust is a ghetto gem. <laughs> nice. <laughs> right, that's a good one. That's yeah. That's the like. I have to find this invis hero. How do I do it? Yeah. It's, uh, we do have Blink Dagger done now on Meepo. So early, early pick up there. He's just going to go straight Wraith Bands afterwards. I think th this to me tells the, the pace that Fnatic want to play at, right? Just that frenetic run from lane to lane to lane to lane. Yeah. And find kill after kill. I am interested to see what his next item after this is going to be. Like... A lot of people player goes Manta. He has Wraith Bands queued up. Now. Yeah, but after the Wraith Bands. Wraith Bands, I don't... He's going to take like two seconds to farm the Wraith Bands. What does he buy after that? Is he going to buy five S and Ys? Is he going to... Like, is he going to buy an E-Blade? Does he buy a Manta style? I like the Manta style quite a bit on Meepo. Yeah, it could be good. Just oh. We're not going to gonna question Abed, no matter what he buys. I'm pretty oh, sure yeah. none of us here are Meepo experts. How dare you? Oh, sorry, Gabe. <laughs> Tell me about that uh, 45 APM Meepo. It's pretty great. <laughs> <laughs> right, man, you got to move your fingers. Uh, I also don't play with quick cast. But yeah, it's, uh, it's looking pretty good for them there in that fashion. But Alliance keep on pulling themselves around the map, and they have been able to take down the mid and bottom tier one towers, now trying to take down the top tier one. Is this the point where Fnatic are gonna try and put in some contestion for it? Koikva, walking away, pops the ulti, and there's the rupture on the MP. Need to be a little bit careful. This had a lot of regen coming in as the creeps are on top of them, but Alliance, literally all of them are here, and they're trying to kill off MP. Snowball coming in afterwards. MP gets the jump away. So much damage out onto Alliance, but it's not enough. They lose the Timber Saw. They've already lost the Lich, and Ice 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 trying to run away, but Abed comes in. Can they make the turnaround happen? Storm Spirit reveals himself, and immediately they try and turn onto him. He's no mana left at all. The toss of the wolf, Ip in the hill, and Mickey looks like he is going to eventually fall. So they find themselves a return kill, Fnatic do. I think if the Meepo had been there a little bit earlier, they could have actually cleaned that up quite well. Like, Alliance... All took a decent amount of damage off of the timber saw, but they just didn't quite have the the follow up. Mm. So, Fnatic are a little bit less farmed than I would have thought for this point of the game, especially the tiny. Uh, I guess Ice's Ice has bought up a couple of small items. He went for the bottle as well, so that's kind of delaying his blink somewhat. I also are finding a couple of these stacks around the world and. Well, they use the Chain Frost as well as the Nets, and that's oh, really the problem. This is Ghetto Dieback. Yeah, that's bad. Uh-oh. MP, he's in the middle of all of Alliance, and they're just running four heroes into him. Just need to be a little bit careful here. Walrus Punch comes oh. through, but the jump incoming from Abed, and they did not stand a chance. Oh, he was Blood Rage, so he healed up after. Oh, yeah. And then, and then they tip Boxy. Oh, oh no. poor Boxy. Avalanche toss, just clearing out these stacks here. So Ice 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 taking away the farm and Fnatic. This is where the draft truly comes online. Yeah, they can just keep running at Alliance, finding kills. All of Alliance's heroes are susceptible to just the Meepo jump or a little bit of lockdown into the Timbersaw burst or tiny combination. So, do you look like at the build on Elder Scott? Titan. Yule Scepter, so he can control the Storm Spirit. If he goes in, he times his stomp, or Meepo comes, uses Earthbind to keep him in place. Also, if Bloodseeker tries to use the Rupture on him, he can get rid of the Silence. Also, a good way to control the Lycan in a team fight. All right, nice, 
no they ball. pull it in. And they will find that kill onto DJ. Meepo poofs away. Wisely going to escape from that area. And it's going to be going for the E-Blade next. So just all out damage. Yeah. Potentially pop the Bloodseeker. Uh, I don't think Bloodseeker is tanking up all that much. He might, once he sees this, maybe he goes for a blade mail or something. But Alliance trying to do the best that they can using this uh, Chen teleport to set things up, but it feels like we are quickly getting past the point where Chen and Tusk are going to be relevant at all in team fights. Really? Oh. oh, he just hits Taiga and then gonna immediately jump onto Insania. Now MP can chase down this. Tusk potentially as well. They have the chase. Shards, can they keep him alive? It looks like they will. I love the build on Timbersaw. Straight Vanguard, he realizes that uh, they're trying to focus him in a team fight. He's going to get Crimson Guard and Guardian Greaves. Uh, if you're building Bloodstone in 2019 as the first item on Timbersaw, I'm putting you on my blacklist. I don't care. Don't at me. Yeah, it's, uh, it's just the, the item that you need, too, because it's it's just recognizing the way that they want to try and play this game. End it. Um, Can I have the list of approved Timbersaw items? Oh, yeah. Lacoste? It's uh, Yule Scepter, Lotus okay. Orb. Um, uh, the new Lotus item. Orb first. No, 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 not, not a first uh, item. Okay. Like, Holy you can Locket. get a pipe. Uh, Holy Locket is fine. Okay. Vanguard. Spirit Vessel in certain situations if you wow. if you need to get it. Is Rod of Atos on the approved list? Uh, it could be. Okay, yeah. all right. You just need to think out of the box. <laughs> just not nah, Bloodstone. Just, just, just not Bloodstone. Not Bloodstone. Dagon Nullifier, fine. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bloodthorn, <laughs> let's go for it. I mean, Bloodthorn got buffed. There we go. Timbersaw's got that attack damage talent. Hey man, we've got the Kaya finish now. For Plus Storm 100 Spirit. damage, boys. Think about that. With That's some crits. Great. Mm. Echo Saber. <laughs> Whatever, you just, you just don't get Bloodstone. I like okay. it. Deal. <laughs> <laughs> so 15 minute mark, we're getting ready for the next round of Bounty Runes, and it looks like it's going to be three for one. Fnatic picking up the majority of those ones. And they really haven't put the clamps yet onto Alliance. I feel like Alliance has been able to dodge away from these battles at the right times. And maybe going to set up for a kill here on the Meepo as well. They have the rupture. Going to throw out the net. Abed gets stomped, interrupting it. Oh, man. There it is. That's the catch. That's the kill they needed. That's a great execution. And uh, the Sledge is going to die as well. A couple of more seconds left on Lycan ulti. More than enough to bring him down. And if MP isn't careful, he's going to get punished here as well. They chase it down. The Silence not going to be on the mark, though. And now they find the Echo Stomp. The Avalanche Toss and... Well, Boxy does go down. Mm. Still, Meepo kill, big. Yeah. Yeah, anything anything to slow down this Meepo. The Meepo is not accelerating out of control either. It, it does seem like a couple of the little changes to this hero have uh, sort of slowed his role somewhat. How is DJ so farmed all the time and what? Yule Scepter, Soul Ring, 400 gold on top of that. If you watch him, he does spend a lot of time just like hitting creep camps near his cores. He, he doesn't give his cores any priority over him, over himself at all. Uh, and I think that's, that's what you end up seeing. Looks like they're trying to bait MP again. An Alliance being able to pull this draft back in a good way. In spite of how rough it looked early on, they're having a bit of a better time here as MP will cut through this creep wave and then push the tier two tower. And I guess that we should mention that, you know, if this game keeps on going on, uh, Alliance do get stronger as they get more items relative to Fnatic. Yeah, Fnatic, if they get items, they get uh, a lot weaker. Shut up, Lacoste, <laughs> get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, back uh, to I, you, Gabe. I, yeah. I, I don't, I don't know if Alliance necessarily outscale. Uh, they do have better scaling cores. That's true. Um, we'll see. A lot of it comes oh, down. A to lot of damage in this bottom tower. Yeah, this is this is pretty nasty. Problematic. Howl got catapults there. Down to half HP. Dyer's top tower is under attack. 
they're setting up for this. Like, they want to try and catch somebody on their way out. That's a full E-Blade on Meepo. If they could get a pick off, both of these teams have a really good Roche lineup. So one kill or two is guaranteed Roche. Yeah, just going to see how the next couple of fights go. Uh, Alliance doing pretty well playing around their vision. Get a deep board in the base here. I don't know how long that one's going to be sticking around, but... Gives them something to keep on split pushing at bottom. I feel like we've actually been seeing that ward quite a bit. There's been like three or four games that we've cast today where support sneaks over and puts a high ground ward up into the enemy base. Oh yeah, M most of the time it uh, it sees uh, smokes and it sees rotation, also TPs when uh, you're trying to defend tier three tower, which Alliance oh, uh, likes party to go time. for. Oh, they're baiting it out. They think that it's Abed Illusion. But it was actually the real Meepo. Jabs oh gets jumped God. on. Tagi is there. They're going to find the stomp onto Boxy. DJ throws out that ulti as well. It's going to connect onto both. He dies, but he finds the kill and turn. And Mickey low on mana right now. Just be careful getting that close to the Meepo. And did they rupture the illusion? Oh my God, they ruptured the illusion. Oh, Meepo does not go down. And now Mickey in an under control is going to die as well. Alliance got so faked out that fight. Like, Cloakfoot popped his ultimate in the trees, ran out, saw a Meepo, and was just like, ah, it's a it's a fake, I guess. And Cloakfoot spent so much of his ultimate just doing nothing in that fight. Like, a huge portion of the Lycan ultimate doing basically zero. And all right, now Fnatic into the Roche. Man, and it just goes to show how valuable those illusion runes are on Meepo. Like, yeah. not just like baiting out spells, but also just everything. Just fight mobility as well. Being able to like TP the Meepo out and bring them back in. Or TP all of your Meepos out and then bring them back in on the illusions instead. Oh. So right. A just for Meepo, MP. Oh. Gets the TP away. Snowball's going to connect. Rupture no longer lethal, but uh, Storm Spirit will be. And Taiga, very low on HP, but can't quite kill him off in time. But Mickey's caught and in some trouble here, is he? No, they don't want to jump. I'll bet decides to not to. Lich. Did someone say Lich? I love Lich. <laughs> okay, so this is the timing kind of for Fnatic. Uh, Meepo is, I, I don't think he's peaked just yet, but this is one of his absolute strongest timings, uh, where he's got a couple of solid items and the Aegis. And Alliance are still finding stuff. Man, look at that damage. Penitence plus oh, Blood Rage. Oh, the Echo Stomp plus the Earth Splitter. Oh, they got Lycan. him. Just locked down. He was ulted that entire time, but the net has no mercy. And they find themselves the Tusk, wants to get Vision, pushed up to the high ground. And this Snowball will not save Tagia as the Stomp connects. Hey, give that kill to DJ. Uh, I'm gonna need it. <laughs> <laughs> you, you Snowball and you give that kill to the true carry of this Fnatic team. So Fnatic ready to go high ground now with this Aegis on Meepo. Dealing so much damage, and it's just very hard for Alliance to fight into this at this point. They don't have the heroes. They're going to need to start doing some of the Storm Spirit shenanigans with the recall, I feel like. And he's actually going to be going for the BKB because they just need a way to get out of the net. He has it right now, yeah. and uh, it, it feels bad when you're forced to buy a second Kaya item BKB, BKB on Storm Spirit. He's just going to use his whole mana pool to kill, like, Lich, I think. Yeah. That, that is that is what his fate has become in these fights. And even then, that might not happen because Timbersaw is going to have a mech and a Crimson Guard to defend his teammates. So I think if he just tries to jump the Lich, the Lich might actually end up surviving a surprisingly long time uh, and a big chunk of that BKB duration. One of the reasons that this hero has fallen off is just the inability to kill the big tanky heroes and heroes with survivability mechanisms. Well, we will have to see how this goes. And if they can kite away from the BKB, what Alliance can do during the duration of it. All questions that need to be answered. Yeah, if they can uh, stall out this Aegis as well. That's another kind of big thing for them at this moment in time. 
Ice 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 must regret taking that movement spin talent, considering that he's going for Echo Saber next, so that's basically yeah. 60 damage mm. in a less than a second. Smoke up. Storm does get his level 15 400 health talent. And Abed going hunting, but I think that was within vision of the Alliance Ward. Likewise, though, the wraparound's coming, and Mickey in trouble, pops the BKB, oh. immediately runs away. Couldn't get the toss. Do you have to BKB to be able to ball lightning out of Avalanche? I think so. It's really... The, the, it no. does have quite a bit of a wind-up. You, you should have enough time to get out. You think so? Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh-oh. Oh. See you later. So that's a full Scotty for Meepo. I guess his next item is going to be... Hex, so he can control the Storm Spirit, get a pick off on a side on any hero, and then they can push. Aegis is still up for a minute. They did go for that, Scotty. They kill off the creep, and now gonna take down this tower as well. Guys, the Blooderite made them stop hitting the building for like two seconds. That's pretty good. That's true. Look, it's here, it's happening again. <laughs> Look at this Bloodright defense. Oh, is, Storm. They don't feel confident going for it, but the toss oh, back God. now on the Bloodseeker. Oh, Koikva, need to run, excuse me, Lycan. He gets his BKB off, able to get out of there. Also, Tiny doesn't end up going down, but they have to stomp onto two. What can they get out of this? Oh, the big God. jump comes through. The Earth Splitter finds the kill. They buy back immediately on Boxy, and even in the duration of the BKB, Mickey can't handle the right clicks. Insania gonna be killed off. They turn to fight, and even though you can control this man, Meepo will live through in the end. 10 seconds for Aegis. They have the rupture as well. Tag, yeah, just gets destroyed yet again. Walks in on top of them. They have this Lycan under control. Quakeva trying to run away from the Meepo. And the back lines, Fnatic have lost a lot of the rest of their heroes. And actually, they lose the Aegis as well. Abed in a little bit of trouble. Needs to try and play his way out of this one. And he won't be able to. So a full wipe as the Aegis expires. All right. One, two, three buybacks on side of Alliance. Expensive, but worth it. They, they needed to win that fight 100%. Otherwise, Meepo is going to just take two lanes, maybe? And that would be pretty bad. So how much does it change the, the dynamic of the game, them holding with, with that Aegis? Mm. Uh, it's, it's certainly an improvement, and it goes to show that the BKBs are helping them a lot. I think it still takes another two fight wins to feel like you're really in the the clear and a lot of that is because Abed doesn't get full value out of the Aegis and they threw all those BKBs into that, f uh, all those buybacks into that fight, so. Still gotta be careful from this point forward. Another battle coming through, Jab's in some trouble as Koikva is on top of him and they find the kill. Where is Meepo though, as they get ready to go in on this one. MP under control, he's still dead for eight seconds. Can get up to the high ground here possibly, Storm Spirit chasing, trying to find the kill. Rupture actually not killing off MP. He walks away, goes for the spin. Um, well, nope, he's done as well. Now Ice 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 manages to draw the up. avalanche. The Tagia Tusk is going to get killed off, and Boxy B is recalled as well. Needs one punch. Oh. Over. He walked into it. Oh, no, Boxy. Stay in the trees. Don't do anything. It's going to keep you alive. Is going to go down now. Oh. Oh, and Abed's immediately just hunting for more as well. Just running out. I mean, this is still the scary thing, right? If, if you lose these heroes with long respawn timers, potentially just running down a lane, you can get objectives. Oh, they, they are thinking about going on this Meepo. They've got this Arcane Rune Storm Spirit and Lycan with his ultimate, and they, are, they were sizing him up, but they're going to decide against it. Yeah, the problem is they don't have any kind of info where his other teammates are yeah and it would be suicidal they could actually just run down mid and finish the game if they if they lose two or three heroes yeah yeah you, you don't know where the lich is there could be a frost shield coming in at any time uh and it would all it would only take a couple of stuns for the meepo to all of a sudden just like heal back up with ransack so yeah, i gotta be careful boxy's still dead for 30 seconds what do they want to try and accomplish in that time Alliance, they're up there with the Tusk. Good blink away from Tagia, but it looks like they will be able to at least force out the Glyph here. 
Yeah, Lycan's threatening the slip push at bottom. It's all, he's a few seconds away from the base, but it's good pressure. This is important. And uh, the Meepo's backing out, actually. Storm Spirit goes to try and kill off the creep wave. There were oh, some Meepo's back he had that 30 damage talent instead of move speed. All right, they just uh, buffed him. Okay, it's to run away. Boxy there, Chase coming. In some trouble, Ice 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 might be left for the wolves here. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's uh, done. I'm like, oh, I'm done with this game. <laughs> <laughs> Just tossing him. <laughs> okay, how much HP does the... Okay, bottom tier three took some more damage from the Lycan summons. I don't think he went up there with his actual hero. I uh, was just hanging back, worried about getting Meepo'd. So, still... I mean, looking good for Fnatic, but Alliance... Also have good damage potential building up, more items coming through. Uh, I think there is still definitely a path to victory for them in in this game. Yeah, Meepo's going to fall off. If they oh, don't sure. finish this game in the next 10, 15 minutes, I, I think Alliance is going to have upper hand. Even though they have a Lycan who still has some room to work with in his inventory, but uh, he's going to fall off as well. Yeah. I mean, I think that the uh, the talents for Meepo have gotten pretty considerable buffs, particularly that Earthbind cooldown, uh, as they have found MP yet again. Rupture there as well. He has the Guardian Greaves, so shouldn't be able to find the kill too easily. And Abed oh, like just it. turns around, able to find the kill on a Koikva. Boxy in some trouble, slowed down. Mickey turned upon as well. He's getting the punches onto him. Can they kill up Boxy in time? He's trying to run, but it won't happen. And you can see Storm Spirit doesn't die, but he also doesn't do anything right now. Yep. Lycan didn't get to press any buttons in that fight. He just died. Uh, I think it looked like he got the BKB off right at the very end there, but he'd already been Avatossed and Meepo just mauled him, so. They know Bloodseeker does not uh, have a buyback. 40 seconds, uh, they might They're thinking take about two going, sides. Right? They're th thinking about either going for the throne or just taking the second side of Raxus. Well, that's all it takes. And as we said, the lack of buybacks because they were used in that last defense. Yeah, Rosh ends up as well. So they may as well just take two lanes of Rax and then Rosh. And then they can come back and finish the game with uh, Aegis and their Hex. Poof away. They leave the range back. Get him, range creep. Oh, it's going. Get him. Oh, needs one more. Okay. Nah, not going to happen. Well, this is the bigger prize, though. But yeah, Abed is a serious problem, and he has the sheep stick done now, has space for the Aegis, and this is potentially the ultimate hold for Alliance if they can make it happen, but it is going to be so tough. Yeah. Uh, well, what's the buyback looking like? Do they, do they have buybacks to throw into this? Just the nope. Lincoln. They got nothing. Those buybacks are still cooling down for a little bit, minute and a half. So they might have the support buybacks back up, but anything else is looking kind of unlikely. I think that uh, Storm should be able to get it also once he gets that gold. If you're Lycan and you don't have uh, the other cores don't have buyback, I think you just buy your Deso. I don't think you try and hold a buyback for yourself. Yeah, you need to go all in. You can't yeah. really save for buyback, your, especially if you pop a BKB, pop your ulti. Your buyback is not going to do anything. Yeah, it's not, it's I think it's much more worth it for Storm, though, definitely, to save his. Oh, for He's sure. like the best in the game yeah, for it. Yeah, if he has a chance to. Which he should. I think he got enough gold for it. And he does his Storm thing. Back home again. All right. And Taiga is going to cut the creep wave. Does he go mid now with the next wave? Nope, he's going to go bottom again. Do, 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 do. Uh, the thing is, they have siege creeps, so yeah, they, they can't, can't kill they those. They can't <laughs> kill the catapult. <laughs> ah. um, and backdoor protection is being disabled by mid anyway, so... Uh, yep. Cute strategy, but... Just to be careful that he doesn't get caught there. Oh, quick foot. Yeah, pops the BKB just to run away. Oh, man. That oh, really hurts. More storm jumps, a little bit of harassment. I bet See what can do. He's able to find him right off the get go. Bloodseeker is going to be pulled inside with that snowball save for the moment. The sleep is there as well as the control onto the storm spirit. And Mickey will die. Does that buyback? He's going to need to use it immediately as they want to jump back into this one. But BKBs have already been used on the other two cores at this point. 
What more can you do? I think that Fnatic have got what they came for and they just have a couple more hits on that top range racks as the Hex is going to be revealed. Avalanche toss yet again, caught, killed, collected, and done. Alliance is out of here in game number one. And GG's called. Man, this Meepo. There are few players in the world who can utilize this hero to perfection. Abed is one of them. And uh, in this game, it just shows why. Like, he, he's been farming the lane. He played the first couple of minutes in the laning stand stage, went back to jungle. Then they made some rotations. He was saving a skill point. So when, what did you call him? Ghetto, ghetto Blink ghetto Dagger, Blink Tiny arrives exactly. so they can yeah. uh, grab a kill on Storm Spirit. They managed to get one more kill on Storm. The, the, the Storm Spirit in this game was just crippled. He didn't have any items to work with. Uh, he didn't have levels considering that he was tri laning and uh, he, he's being forced to buy a BKB as a second item and it's, it's not that great. It never feels good. Was it even a good Storm Spirit pick like when they picked it? At that point in the draft, I think the Chen Storm Spirit is one of the things that you can point to that, like maybe that's what they were hoping to to accomplish yeah. is like the ability to hold out the game, um, that type of thing. But as we saw, it kind of doesn't matter if you're that far ahead. To to me, it just felt like it was an outdraft at that point. And when you look at Meepo, obviously the two things that you really want to find is AOE control and then single target burst damage. And they didn't really have either going into the last picks. They needed to solve both, which is really hard. And Bloodseeker no longer has that like single burst because Thirst no longer gives damage. Yeah. So I, I don't know. Um, it, it just felt like it was, even when good things were happening, it was never going to be enough. Um, they, got, they got completely caught off guard by the, the Meepo pick. The one thing that is nice is that you can just tell yourself, we got Meepo'd. Like, you messed up in the draft. You can all agree and say, okay, hey, look, we should have banned this Meepo. And you can continue on with your life. It's it's not a it's it's not like I, I don't think it's going to keep you up at night necessarily. It's like it's not a, a misplay. That it, sure, losing this game sucks, but I feel like as far as the mental game goes, yeah. it's, it's easier to brush off a game where you're just like, eh, whatever. They just picked some cheesy hero and they cheesed us, right? Like, you should ask Kyle about that. How he feels about Abed Meepo. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> he might have some strong opinions. That's true. Um, well, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to go a quick break while we get ready for game number two, Alliance versus Fnatic. We'll see if the Kings in the North can pull it back in game number two right after this.